All right, everybody. So welcome to a tour of my little pop culture television museum. We are starting in what I call the Hall of Fame. And here on these walls, we have photos um, of people I've gotten to meet and things I've gotten to do and um, autographs that I have obtained going to shows and uh, meet and greets and things like that. There's Starsky and me. And uh, there's the Supernatural Boys. There's uh, Barbara Eaton and Larry Hagman. <laughs> A funny picture of Aristotle, who is actually a very nice person. There's a very <laughs> crazy picture of Starsky and Hutch that I found quite amusing. Um, one of the great things um, that I've been able to do on this collecting journey is to be able to actually um, meet these people um, as an adult and, you know, get to see their humanness and hear their stories. There's Shatner and, um, you know, share a laugh with them or a hug and be able to, you know, just tell them, you know, hey, thank you for... Uh, you know, making me laugh when I didn't have much to laugh about or, you know, giving me something as a lonely misfit child to look forward to. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, great to see their response to that and, um, and just, uh, you know, get to know them as people and not just the characters that they portrayed on, on television. There's Elizabeth Montgomery, Bewitched. It's Tommy and I at the on the front set, sitting on the famous couch. Um, so this has been a really you know fun experience. Um, there's the um, some of the charm cast, Piper and Leo. They were a lot of fun. <laughs> that was definitely a memorable moment. As you can see, it's a uh, there's a lot. Visiting the original Star Trek sets. One of my favorites is this supernatural photo of us with the boys. Uh, they were quite fun and amusing. There's the Partridge family, Charlie's Angels, um, more uh, Partridge family stuff. You know, and some of these people are gone now, and so it was really nice to actually be able to, you know, to have met them and, um, you know, form my own personal memories with them. Uh, there's Linda Carter, also very sweet. Jacqueline Smith, Lindsay Wagner. Um, there's me with Cheryl Ladd. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a lot. I've, um, I've met a lot of the people that I grew up watching. And, you know, for the most part, they've all been wonderful. Stevie Nicks, my all-time favorite singer, she was great. Love meeting her. Uh, there's Tarzan, Ron Eli. Lou Ferrigno, who was wonderful. Very nice man. Gave us workout tips. <laughs> there's Isaac, the bartender from the Love Boat. Angie Dickinson. There's friends. So, uh, so this is pretty much the Hall of Fame. Ever, I'm always adding to it. So now we are about to enter the Twilight Zone. <laughs> so here we go. This is my little pop culture television museum. There's a 1977 original poster of uh, Linda Carter. Carol Burnett, I'm so glad we had this time together, which is just such a, you know, a fitting thing because I really... You know, it is the time that we have together that is so wonderful and so special. And um, um, so now we're starting to enter lots of uh, TV guides and, you know, rare photos and things all over the place in here. The great thing about my collection is that there's something in here for everybody. It spans decades. It starts in the 1950s with I Love Lucy and goes right up to what's on TV today. And we got a Bell Records promo poster of the Partridge Family. And 
It's a monkey's TV guy. And there's Lucy and Desi. And right above them, <laughs> the Ego card game from Stranger Things. And then uh, we've got Arrow above that and Lost. So yeah, so when people come here and they see this collection, they're always like blown away. I mean, I have yet to see somebody not know something in here or something that triggers a memory from their childhood or a time with a parent or, you know, a friend or um, it just, uh, you know, it puts a smile on people's faces. I always say toys bring joy to girls and boys. <laughs> There's a huge poster collection here. I have to switch them out because there's so many. Um, there's Farrah down there and Greg Ev again, Starsky and Hutch. We got the monkeys up there and the monsters and the Adams family. There's Mike and Molly on the cover of Mad. <laughs> Gilligan's Island and Will and Grace. You know, lots of very fun and rare obscure things and i have tried over the years to really collect the best of you know what i could um, as time goes on things become more and more rare and more and more obscure and so getting things in great condition is not always easy and uh, so it's amazing that i've been able to collect what i have and a lot of things are still original packaging some things haven't even been opened there's a monkey's board game Lamb Chop, anybody remember that from childhood? Lamb Chop was a little before my time, but but Lamb Chop, Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop carried through to when I was a child. She was around for a few decades with that. There's a Munster's Lunchbox, very uh, sought after item, especially if you have one that's in good shape. Munster's Barbies and we got paper dolls. There's original Munsters paper dolls. And, uh, you know, one of the great things about, you know, this is that if a show is really popular and it has endured over the decades, they'll still produce things for it today. I mean, there's a pop of, uh, of uh, Herman that was just done in the last couple years. And even these Munsters figures up here were done over the last, uh, um, probably 10 years ago, somewhere in that area. Um, but, uh, you know, they will produce, they still produce things occasionally for uh, certain shows. We got Julia, and we got costumes, there's co some costumes, there's a monkey's costume down there of Davy Jones. And um, we got puzzles, we have cards, gum cards, there's a set of monkey's gum cards. The Monsters Coach and Viewmasters. We have cars. This one's signed by Davy Jones. It's a monkey mobile. Um, TV guides, original TV guides. Some of them are up like a border around the room. You can see that. More, uh, more um, view masters. There's a there's an example of something. Uh, Linda Carter, her Wonder Woman character, as has uh, endured the test of time and they are still make things um, based on her today. This being one of them. The statue came out about a year ago. There's an original Mego Wonder Woman doll. That is a very rare and sought after doll. Um, they, uh, to find one in good condition in a box now is very hard. And uh, um, there's Daryl from The Walking Dead and Isis. There's uh, Batman from Batman, the, the 66 show. I also have a huge collection of uh, vintage uh, coloring books and stuff, um, music books. There's a Partridge Family song book, and um, we have poster magazines. There's a Star Trek poster magazine. We have paper dolls. Um, let's see what we got. There's some... Monst there's some Partridge Family paper dolls. There's some Donnie and Marie paper dolls. Um, notebooks. <laughs> there's a Charlie's Angels notebook in there. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff. Here's an example of the coloring books. There's a, a Brady Bunch coloring book down there. Uh, there's Davy Jones' ass. <laughs> what monkey collection would not be complete without... 
Davy Jones ass. So there it is. We got the Flash. That's an example of a show that's current, still on. What else we've got? There's a Lost in Space lunchbox, original Mod Squad puzzles. We got we got Alias and uh, Star Trek. There's the Enterprise and uh, there's Lost, Gossamer from uh, Bugs Bunny, more Linda Carter stuff, Mod Squad, Bewitched, The Waltons, Six Million Dollar Man. Um, we got, uh, there's Lost in Space Robot, an original one, actually. That is one of my favorite items in this collection. Also very hard to find one in the box and still working after all these years. It was uh, made in, uh, I believe, 65 or 66. So that's quite a feat. Uh, there's board games hidden back there, lunch boxes. There's a love boat model some of the fun things i do in here is i have cookie monsters hidden all over the place and i have um stewie from family guy hidden all over so they're all mixed in here in different places there's a kermit phone and um star trek walkie talkies there's the carol burnett now if none of you have ever seen carol burnett you should YouTube this. This is from Went With The Wind, where she takes the curtains and makes them into a dress. Carol Burnett had great comic timing, and just it's just legendary. And even if it's not your time or whatever, you should still check it out, because those old Carol Burnett episodes are just um, hysterical. There's um, the Bionic Woman, the $6 million man stuff, the famous Bionic Bigfoot Lots of figures from different things. There's Mork and H.R. Puffin stuff. And we got Bewitched paper dolls back there. And Farrah Fawcett puzzles. And there's Sally Field, the flying nun. <laughs> and we got stuff from Game of Thrones. And there's Batgirl. And um, more bionic stuff. Let me turn this on. This is... And here we have... One of my other favorite items, that's a um, genie bottle. Genie's up there at the top, and it's signed by the cast. And next to it is an original I Dream of Genie Libby doll. There's an original Samantha from Bewitched, which I think was made by Idea. But then in the front, we've got the boys from Supernatural, Stephen Amell, there's Dean, there's Kirk and Spock. We've got an original Herman, Munster Puppet, and uh, Dolly Parton back there. And then if you come down, we've got we've got uh, the X Files and Buffy figures. We got monkeys finger puppets. <laughs> How fun! And uh, down here we've got Lost in Space, and that is a large replica of the Jupiter 2. You can see all the lights going. And I don't know if you can see inside, but it's a full replica inside of the set. And in the back, the robot's actually in there, in the uh, elevator, ready to go down to the second level. And there's uh, all the cast, Lost in Space cast. There's Steve Austin in his mission vehicle. Pop, more pops, cars, and there's the Muppets. We got the Avengers and Donnie and Marie, and we got Arrow, and there's a original David. There's a, a one of a kind David Cassidy back there. We got Fringe. There's a Charlie's Angels wallet to keep all your all your money in. Grown hair share. Well, collection wouldn't be complete without one of those. Migos from Star Trek. The original Migo Bridge from the 1970s. Um, one thing that's been great about this, doing this too is I've actually gotten to go overseas to some different countries to look for toys. And so um, different licenses have gone out to different countries to produce things for our shows. And so things that might not have been made here 
but were made overseas, you know, are rare. And so it's great that I was able to go over there and bring some of that stuff back. We got the Hardy Boys. We got Mork and Mindy. Up here we've got the Starsky and Hutch um, figures. Some of them signed. There's a Brady Bunch lunchbox and Partridge from the Paper Dolls. And there's Lori Partridge up there. Um, we've got a one-of-a-kind uh, Tanya Roberts from Charlie's Angels, which is actually pretty good. We got Honey West, one of the first female detectives on television. It's kind of groundbreaking at its time. Guys from Emergency, the Charlie's Angels doll gift set. Speaking of Charlie's Angels, there's the Hideaway House. I bet you didn't know they made one of those. It stands about two feet tall. You can have a room just for that practically. It's fun, it rotates. So. I'm sure that kept many little girls and <laughs> probably a few boys entertained for quite a while. One of the things I just added to my collection was this second version of the Bionic Woman. Um, this one's a little bit rarer than the first one, a little more sought after, and I got that for my birthday. Charlie's Angels purse, you know, so you can be fashionable. Lots of lunch boxes. Space 1999 walkie talkies. Full bottle of Farrah Fawcett shampoo so you can keep your hair manageable. And it still smells pretty good actually. And stuff, although I think if you used it, your hair might fall out, but <laughs> no, I'm not gonna try it. But just one of those rare things that I have in here like this. This is Will Schuster hair gel from Glee, which was um, a gift given out by the studio Kind of a fun gift given out by the studio so there aren't a lot of those floating around we got the chips guys on their motorcycles and a and a life-size david cassidy uh puzzle lots of little buttons and fun things like like this one behind every great man there's a dingbat <laughs> love it um brady bunch uh ornament we got Mulder and scully from the x-files Original Lucy TV Guide. Hey, if you need siren for your bike, I got one of those. Some chips. We have monkeys pup puppets. Magnum sunglasses. Lots of stuffed dolls. There's Fred Samper. Here he is up here, clutching his heart like he always did in the show. Lizbeth, I'm coming to join you. And uh, oh, here we go. We got a Farrah Fawcett pillow, just what you need for those sleepless nights, and a Charlie's Angels t-shirt that's never been out of its package. Barbara Eden signed this record for me. This was her, her album that she did back in the 60s. We even have, rolled up over here, <laughs> Farrah Fawcett rugs, so your feet don't get cold. Here's the one of the Cher dolls. This is the one that was featured in Will and Grace where Jack was running around with the doll and Cher smacks him. We got Golden Girls action figures. Who would have thought? And a Donnie Marie uh, lunchbox, or not lunchbox, but for records. There's the hatch from Lost. There's Gilligan. We even got some stuff in here from Schitt's Creek, which if you haven't seen it, is an absolutely hysterical show. So much fun. You need to watch it. We got the Big Bang Theory, and um, there's the Munster's House. Here's Kermit. Star Trek phaser and communicator. David Cassidy guitar. Lots of Fantasy Island. What else have we got going here? Of course, lots of action figures. Another example of, there's alias, of shows that have really maintained their popularity is uh, Batman, the 66 one. Uh, Mattel did a whole line of toys um, a few years back. And so now there's, you know, so they're still producing stuff for some shows, which is kind of cool that they would do a whole 
toy line based on a show that <laughs> was on the air 50 years ago. And remember, do you remember any having these when you were a kid? <laughs> There's a Donnie Marie record player. Um, just another example of some of the fun, obscure things in here. There's Alf. And then we even have a friend's bank <laughs> that's shaped like the couch. And TV trays. There's Magnum. And there's, I think I have Alf and a whole bunch of other ones. We got Buffy stuff. Donnie Marie playset. More X Files. You know, Buffy figures. Some of the. There's the Adams Family V Masters. There's some rare um, Belgium Starsky and Hutch cards. That's an example of something from overseas. They're much smaller than the uh, the bubblegum cards like we had, which there's like the Partridge from it ones. They're like twice the size. Got um, Baby um, Pop, Funko Pop. That's actually signed by the boys from Supernatural. Uh, that I got at a con uh, when I went to a convention. More board games, stuffed Supernatural figures. There's so much stuff. There's um, Bridge Playset from Star Trek The Next Generation that's still sealed in its box. And uh, I also have a collection of television comics. Here's an example. Um, there's the Brady Bunch. And uh, there's uh, Lucy. And so I have boxes of those. Here's a Starsky and Hutch UK magazine set. Again, something from overseas. We have, uh, what else is in here? One of my favorite, I just got this for my birthday. It's a Charlie's Angels clock, which I think is pretty cool. Lots of pops. I only do the ones that are related to TV shows. As you can see, they kind of, I made a border out of them. They kind of go all the way around the room. Lots and lots of stuff. Uh, some of the, yeah, there's, I have all the fan magazines from different things. If they did a fan magazine based on a show, here's an example of some. There's a Partridge Family Song special, but I also have like their official magazine and anything that had an official magazine or like Tiger Beats or Teen Beats, any of that stuff I've got. There's a Game of Thrones pop-up book, <laughs> which is already kind of rare. Um, Police woman. There's the Batmobile. There's the Mattel Batmobile down there. We have Partridge Family uh, poster gum posters. These came in packages, and they did. Uh, you get like one poster in every package. There's David. Um, there's rare stills in here. Here's a rare still from. Uh, Partridge family. It was a publicity shot that you don't see very often. Lots of puzzles. There's a rare monkey's puzzle. And what else? I think that pretty much sums it up. There's there's a lot of stuff. Like I said, it runs all the way from the 1950s up to current TV shows that are on today. And, um, you know, it's just been so much fun going to, like, antique shows and flea markets and collector shows and stuff and just, you know, finding this stuff, especially the, the rarer, hard-to-find stuff that's, you know, that you, you know, in really good shape. Um, it's nice when you have, you know, when you've got, like, you know, good stuff. <laughs> so... So there you have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed going down this little uh, memory lane trip with me and looking at some of the, the things that came about from these old shows and stuff. Maybe it triggered some memories or maybe there's something in here that you had um, or whatever or, or a show that just made you laugh or that you really enjoyed. And I hope uh, maybe, you know, put a smile on your face and 
And if nothing else, hopefully, you know, you were just, you know, wowed by, well, personally, I th how cool I think it looks, but um, that's a matter of opinion, I guess. But, and again, this is also, this room is ever evolving. It's always like, uh, I'm always trying to, it's all about how things look together and eye appeal and what looks good sit next to something else and all of that. Um, but it's just been a lot of fun for me and I, I'm glad today I decided to, you know, share it with everybody. Uh, especially, you know, now when, you know, very few people can actually come here and see it for themselves. Um, it's great that I can, you know, share it with you. So I hope you're all well. I wish you all the best. Stay safe. And thanks for going on my TV journey with me. Take care.